and girls, my name is Mrs. Taylor. Have you ever noticed that lots of things grow? YouTubers love to watch their channels grow. Hey, have you subscribed to the channel yet? It's Epic Adventures in Third Grade. Click the subscribe button and I'll be able to watch my channel grow. People and animals also grow. We start off life as babies and then as we get older, we start to grow taller. Then when we're adults, we pretty much stop growing. Both of my children really hope that they get taller than me one day. And they probably will, but that's okay. I love springtime because the flowers start growing. All they need is water and sun. Did you know that patterns also grow? We've already learned about repeated patterns, which repeat over and over and over again. But today, we're going to talk about growing patterns. But what exactly is a growing pattern? We started learning about patterns by going over the definition of what a pattern is. A pattern is something that's arranged following a certain rule. The first pattern that we learned about was called the repeating pattern, where in this picture here you notice that we have a heart, a triangle triangle, and an upside down heart. And then you notice that the pattern is repeated again two more times. Well, a growing pattern is a little bit different. It doesn't repeat. Yes, the hearts repeat, but notice that the triangles grow. It starts off with one triangle, then it goes to two triangles, and finally it goes to three triangles. That's what makes it a growing pattern. Check out this example of a growing pattern. Notice that the flower is getting taller. How many rectangles are in each flower? Do you notice that it's growing by one? So what is the next flower going to look like? How many rectangles will it have? Our first flower has one rectangle. The second one has two. The next one has three, the next one has four, the next one has five, and so our final flower stem should have six rectangles in it. Good job, boys and girls. Here is our next example of a growing pattern. Take a look at these Minecraft blocks and see if you can figure it out. If you check out the fourth picture, you'll see if you got it correct. You'll notice that the tower starts off with one and then goes to two, three, and four. Then you have to add another block going to the right of the stack. So there's none in the first picture, there's one in the second picture, then two, and then three. Who loves ice cream? I sure do. Check out this growing pattern and how many scoops there are. Pause the video and figure out what the missing picture is. Check out the fifth picture. If you put nine scoops of ice cream on top of your ice cream cone, then you are correct. Did you notice that this picture has a rule to it? The rule is that we're going to add two scoops of ice cream each time. So in the first picture, it's one. One plus two is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus two is seven. And seven plus two is nine. That's your growing pattern. Here's our next growing pattern. Do you think that the question mark is going to be a bee or a ladybug? If you added another ladybug, then you are correct. The first one is a bee followed by one ladybug. Then you have a bee and two ladybugs. Then you have a bee and three ladybugs. We would follow that with a bee and, that's right, four ladybugs. Check out this one. They look like stairs to me. What do you think the next group of blocks will look like? Does your fifth picture look like mine? If it does, then you got it correct. The first picture has one block, and then we have to add one above it and one to the right of it. Then for the third picture, you have three going up and three going across on the bottom. Add one more to make it look like stairs. Then in the next picture, you have four going up and four going across, and you have to add three to make it look like stairs. And finally, you have five going up and five going across, and you just fill in the rest to look like stairs. Growing patterns can be so easy if you just think about it. It's time for your math challenge of the day. So grab a piece of paper and something to write with and let's start creating some growing patterns together. For today's challenge, you're going to look around your house for something that you can use to create a growing pattern. Two of my favorite things to use are Legos and Skittles. I found these Skittles in my pantry. I'm going to use two colors in my Skittle bag and I'm going to use them to create a growing pattern on a Google slide. You can choose to do that, or you can make something on a piece of paper. Here's what I created for my math challenge of the day. As I mentioned earlier, I decided to use Skittles. I pulled out yellow and green ones. My first one is yellow, then a green one, then a yellow, 
then two green ones. Then I repeat my yellow and have three green ones. One yellow, four green ones, one yellow, five green ones. You get the idea. Each time I make sure that I have one yellow and then I increase my pattern by one each time with the green ones. Thanks so much for joining me today as we learned about growing patterns. If you liked today's video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. We'll see you next week. Bye.